Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial we'll be talking about multi-maps, more specifically how to create one. In order to do this you'll need to have some coverages set up first. So if you haven't done that or if you're unfamiliar with the process you should start there. Let's go ahead and get started here by bringing up our multi-map creation screen. On the left side of your screen you should have a list of coverages. This is where you choose what to include in your multi-map. The list will include standard coverages, fiber or cable coverages, as well as addition or subtraction polygons that have been created in your account. You can use the search bar to narrow your results a bit if you're looking to create a map for a specific set. This is especially handy if you have a large number of coverages to sort through. You can also use the check all button to select everything in the list if you don't have anything you want to keep separate. Once you've chosen the coverages you'd like to include, click add selected and place them in your map. This will move the selected coverages from the left side of your screen to the right side of your screen. That way you can see what you've chosen to include and what you've left out. Next you'll give your map a name and select whether or not you'd like to activate some options. You can set the zoom level of your map, which is how close or far out you want the map to display. Place pins on my sites will mark the tower locations on your map. The US data collection form enables the form version of the iframe code you can use to integrate tower coverage with your website. Display fiber on iframe will show a visual representation of your fiber coverage in your web content. Make this map publicly viewable will show a representation of your map on towercoverage.com. This is useful in that when someone searches for your service area on tower coverage, you'll be notified. You can do this for up to three of your maps. Moving on to provider ID, you'll now have come across the section of settings only relevant to the broadband data collection filing. These are the settings that help to form availability data. If you plan on purchasing availability data and the map you're creating is one of your network maps, make sure this section is complete prior to placing your order. Once you're done with all this, select Create New Multi-Map and you'll find the end result in your multi-map list. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That is all I have for now guys, but I will see you for the next one.